Taking a full look at weather, Weather Authority Chief Meteorologist Dan Sianka. Those puppy eyes. Oh my gosh, I just want to go home and hug my dog. <laughs> he doesn't really like hugs, so he'd probably be like, put his paw out and he'd say, stop that immediately. <laughs> you know what else you should stop doing? Going out of the ocean tomorrow, well, at least from Point Pinos to Point Piedras Blancas. There's a gale warning in place, actually already in place. It does last through 9 p.m. on Wednesday. Wind gusts up to 40 knots, seas of uh, 8 to 10 feet. So getting a little big out there will be hazardous for mariners. I'm not going to tell you not to go. I mean, it's, it's up to you. You know your capabilities out there on the water. But it is going to be uh, a little hazardous out there for folks trying to be on the open water past Point Pinos. Now, as we look at wind speeds currently, we're seeing 14 miles per hour in Salinas, getting gusty in Hollister, 21 miles per hour, same in solid as we do have some wind today as that cool ocean air tries to work its way into the inland valleys. Obviously, the strongest winds down offshore, mostly down off Point Sur is where we see those strongest winds. They just kind of curve around the coast there and just funnel right down past Point Sur. You know, it gets so gusty down there. That's the trouble spot and will be through the day tomorrow as well. Right now, temperatures in the 60s around the bay for most places. Monterey a little cool at 60. You have that northwest wind off the water, but Santa Cruz sheltered from that. You're in the 70s at this hour. Inland areas in the 70s and 80s, and in the south, we do have a few spots in the 90s. And as we take a look at our visible satellite picture, we do see the low clouds basically from Salinas past Marina and over the peninsula tonight. And as we look live in Carmel Highlands right now, you can see that it is a little cloudy out there. So we do have some low clouds. They're fairly limited to the south side of the bay at the moment. And those clouds will thicken tonight. Sunset at 8.28 p.m. We could see a little bit more drizzle late this evening into tomorrow morning as well as these clouds start to pull back in around the bay. So watch out for a couple wet spots tomorrow morning. As we look at our future cast, the cloud clouds will make it inland and again. Watch out for patchy fog in some of our inland valleys and in those coastal hills nearest the coast. We head into the afternoon. We're going to clear out like we did today. So we'll hold on to a strip of low clouds from the peninsula, maybe back toward Marina. But the north side of the bay will be sunny. You may even get some patchy sunshine in Monterey and Seaside tomorrow at times as we are in a little bit of a reduced cloud cloud cover regime with our marine layer getting squished a little bit. We look at that forecast, high temperatures tomorrow, finding some 90s into Boulder Creek and Ben Lomond, 80s in Felton and Scotts Valley and 70s down along the coast. A little bit cooler out to Davenport with a high of 68 tomorrow. Downtown Santa Cruz reaches 77. We'll be in the 70s in Aptos and Watsonville to Prunedale, staying in the 60s in Salinas. We did today as well, so you have a little bit of a cooler wind coming off the water. Uh, 85 though in Hollister, you'll love that wind late in the day because it'll feel nice and air conditioning E. Gilroy, you're going to hit 90. With mid-60s, though, back toward the coast. Going to be cool in and around the peninsula. 63 in PG and Monterey at 64 tomorrow. And then farther south, Big Sur getting warm. 82, 77 in Carmel Valley. And the Salinas Valley, a range from 72 in Gonzales to 96 in Bradley. Over the next seven days, temperatures warming up a bit more on the coast with an additional sunshine, but not to say we won't have some low clouds. We'll have them every night, but uh, a lot of sunshine during the day. So it looks pretty nice as we head into the weekend. It will be warmer and sunnier than this past weekend. So if you're looking to get out and do some hiking or beach combing, do people comb beaches around here? Like in space balls where they take those giant combs and find through the desert because they're looking. Okay, anyway, I digress. <laughs> <laughs> we look at our inland forecast. We hadn't found anything out here. Here's that uh, inland forecast. High temperatures heading upward. It will max out this weekend. On average, our inland highs in the mid 90s, which means many locations will be in the triple digits. So make sure you're prepared for the heat coming because it's going to get pretty toasty inland. Oh, uh, some people love it. We enjoy the heat, but we got to be careful too.